Welcome to another Real Python code conversation. I'm Philip, and today I will show you some things about VS Code themes. This code conversation is about the Visual Studio Code Editor. So if you're using another editor, this code conversation might not be for you, but hey, there still might be something interesting to find because the topics we'll cover can be somehow translated into other code editors as well. So what will you learn in this code conversation? Of course, you will learn about themes, and then I will show you how to find themes in VS Code, how to select a theme. I will give you five examples of themes that I like, how to install your theme once you found it, and then how to make additional adjustments. At the end of this video course, I will give you some additional resources if you want to dive a little bit deeper into VS Code or into related topics. Let's get started. Now, there is one important thing for me to say to manage your expectations. When I talk about VS Code themes, I mean VS Code color themes. In VS Code, there are three theme types. There is the color theme, that's the overall color theming of your code editor. But then there are two other themes as well. One is the file icon theme. This kind of theme defines how icons look next to your file types in the sidebar. So here, for example, there's a standard file icon theme with the little Python icon next to the Python files or other icons next to other files. And if you want to have them more colorful, more individual, then you can look for file icon themes. The third theme is the product icon theme. This type of theme manages how icons in VS Code look. So not the file icons, but for example, those big icons that you can see on the left. Some of the themes I will show in this video course also provides file icons. But again, we'll focus on the colors for now. Changing the color theme is a great way of changing the visual impression that your code editor has. In VS Code, you can work with color themes that are already included. So you don't need to download anything or go to a website. The only thing you need to do to try out a new color theme is to go to your command palette or press Command Shift P if you're on Mac or Control Shift P if you're on Windows. And then type theme. With the fuzzy search of the command palette, you will see the color theme preferences menu item. Once you hit enter, you get a list of color themes that are currently installed in your Visual Studio Code editor. If you've downloaded another theme at some point in your life, it shows up there as well. If you just installed VS Code, then you see the standard color themes. And then you can use the up and down arrows to traverse through the themes and see a preview right away. That's pretty cool to find out which theme you like. On the top, there are the light themes. And on the bottom, you see the dark themes. Once you found the color theme you like, you can hit Enter, and VS Code saves this color theme as your color theme. If you want to verify that VS Code really saved your color theme, you can go to your profile settings by clicking on the little icon on the lower left or lower right, depending on your settings. For you, there might be a gear icon. I have a smiley because that's the icon of my profile. And when I click there and go to settings, and then in the settings, search for theme. And then you can see there is the workbench color theme, Solarize Dark. That's the one that I just selected in the command palette menu. You can also click the little icon on the upper right with the arrow to open your settings JSON file. There you can see a bunch of other settings that I have set and also the workbench.color theme option. That's an important property here in our settings, and we'll probably come back to this later. I just wanted to show you this to see where the color theme is actually stored in your settings. 